as you can see, I am on the road. <laughs> I am <clears throat> this morning, I have to go down for the liver scan. Yes. And, uh, I mean, I was very surprised when my doctor said that uh, you have fatty liver and, and I'm going, you know, why would I have that? Because I don't drink alcohol, I don't take drugs, I don't, uh, you know, and then uh, after more research I found out you can have a problem with your liver because of your thyroid, okay? which I had no idea about. So, um, anyway, she scheduled me for an ultrasound. So that's what I'm doing. I'm on the road now to go get the ultrasound done and see how it is. But I am thoroughly convinced that the carnivore diet is going to turn that around like it turned around my diabetes that I had um, so yeah we'll see so I am still of course doing my carnivore stuff um, I just got yesterday the um, what it the inverter came and I just ordered another one of those uh, cooktops because the one I have that I ordered, it came in, it's big, it's like, you know, 12 inches, it's big. So I found another one online that's more of a travel size and so um, I ordered that one and that is on its way. So looking forward to, for that one to come. Now I do like the in the um, that cooktop, <clears throat> and I will take the bigger one in the house, and I will use it there. <clears throat> and I did order another little thing. It's a little breakfast thing. It's about that big, you know. So it's small, and it's got like a little pan there, and it's for doing like one egg and I tried it out and it has another thing where you can do sandwiches you know kind of a little sandwich press and it's 600 watts and I tried that out at home yesterday and it just cooked that egg like that I mean it was quick but and it's cute but the problem with it is it stays hot for a long time and that's not something I want to bring in here with the puppies and stuff uh, where it stays so hot. Um, you know, so I keep trying and, and looking for the best options. But it's, uh, it did work and I tried doing a hamburger on it and it did absolutely did cook that hamburger. In fact, it cooked it too, too well. I had to throw it away. It was, <laughs> oh, uh, so <laughs> yeah, the hamburger was like shoe leather. Um, <clears throat> so you have to kind of watch it, you know, the timing of it because it's, you know, people were saying, oh, it takes so long to cook anything on here. Well, that wasn't my experience. It, you know, everything cooked like that was, it was very quick. But, you know, like I said, the, the unit itself stays really hot for a long time. And that's not something <clears throat> I want to have with the puppies in here. I don't want to take a chance on them getting burnt. So I think the other, the induction cooker is the way to go in my traveling time here. Now with the dogs, it's easy. Their stuff is raw and they get the dry food as a supplement as well. So theirs is easy to do. So what am I feeding uh, the puppies? I get them the cubed steak. 
because it's already been perforated and done, it's easy to cut up, easy for them, and uh, it works well. It's usually a lower cost than other meats. So that's what I get them. I get them the cute steak and it works well for them. Wow, well, I was glad that I finally got the tires on the vehicle yesterday. Then I went to, to, to Toyota. I had the fan cleaned and I asked them not to put the seats back in. You know, I mean, they're, they're in the car, but they're not fastened in because I need to take them out to build a straight platform. So in telling you that, I've kind of given away what type of car I got. <laughs> okay, best laid plans. You know, I wasn't going to reveal it. Um, <clears throat> until I had everything done, but I think you can figure it out. <clears throat> so anyway, I get to Toyota and I find out, you know, that they were having a tire sale and I could have gotten the tires through them <laughs> that I had bought to put on my car. Um, so, We'll see. But anyway, the other day when I called the car, you know, the tire place, oh, they haven't come in yet. You know, we have other tires. And I go, yeah, well, what do you have? Oh, we have the Cooper. I said, no, I want something that's good for snow and rain. I said, if I were staying around Las Cruces, those are fabulous. That's all you need. But no, I'm going where there may be, you know, passes with a lot of snow and ice and, and I said no I need to have the really good tires okay so what was the tire that I finally got the continental uh their continental tires I think it's L something but I did a lot of research and what sold me on it was this woman that uh, she was doing basically what uh, someone I know was doing like hospice and uh, working in really snowy, rainy areas and these tires really saved her. Um, and she would be going when other people would be stuck. <clears throat> So, um, I did a lot of research, and these tires are bar none great for a really bad inclement weather, whether it's rain or whether it's snow and ice, these tires cannot be beat for all weather conditions. Now, you spend more for them. They're not cheap. They were 100, it was 137 per tire. But your life is worth it. If you are out there and you are um, hitting inclement problems, you want a tire that's going to be able to manage those conditions, okay? And I don't know why people don't uh, really look at tires and how important it is to get a really good tire if you are in those types of conditions. I think people think, well, a tire is a tire. Well, yeah, no, it, it, it can make a huge, huge difference. So I did finally get those on. Um, and they're, they're actually quite good going down the road. I think they're um, a bit smoother riding than the ones that I had on the vehicle that just got switched out. Um, now a lot of people wouldn't have changed them because the other tires were basically, you know, really good tread. Everything on them was fine, you know, uh, but they are not rated highly for snow, rain, etc. So, um, yeah, no, I got really good tires on, on the vehicle. You know, it's best to be as prepared as you can for the city.
situations. Now, like I said, I've driven semis before. There goes one across here in really inclement weather. And, uh, you know, you want to be prepared if you can. Ah, today, Oregon Mountain, I mean, it is socked in in gray clouds. So I'm just wondering if they're going to perhaps get snow up there. Um, I might take this up to Cloudcroft. I'm going to see if they have snow up there because it's the ski area. You know, that's the thing about living here. You can go, you know, a couple hours away and there's a ski resort or you have the desert and you go up the hill, you've got the pine trees, you've got ski resort <laughs> within a couple of hours. Um, what we don't have, of course, is ocean. No ocean here, but uh, there are lakes, there are mountains. Um, <clears throat> so that part's good. Now, somebody asked how the dogs like the snow. They have not seen snow yet. Now, I don't think Mr. Mickey Mick is going to like it because in the morning, Miss Lily will wake me up like 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock, and want to go out to pee, to go out potty, pee, pee, potty. And um, I'll open the back door. It may be still pitch black outside and freezing cold, and she'll go out, no problem. Mickey sticks his nose out the door and says, I'm not going out. <laughs> it's cold. <laughs> so he, he just, uh, he's like, no, uh -uh, I, I'm not doing this. Uh, so I think that uh, maybe Lily will enjoy the snow. Uh, now I've gotten them both coats, etc. But Mickey, I have a feeling he'll just be like, what is this? Oh, yeah, no, no, this is, no. <laughs> no, this is not, no. Yeah, no, we're not doing that. And a uh, highway patrolman had to get over. But I could feel these tires even going over like that. I could feel them really gripping the road. I could feel absolutely a difference with these. Um, yeah. So anyway, that's what's going on here this morning. I did buy a bunch of meat yesterday. When I get home, I bought the uh, pork baggies. So I'm going to take the meat out of there and uh, put it in the baggies getting ready to go. Tomorrow, Ronaldo is flying in, and he will help me take these seats out of the back so that I can build the platform, so I can get that ready. I cannot physically lift those seats. It's pretty heavy to take them out. Um, so he will be here tomorrow to help me with that, and uh, I've got all these boxes in the you know, from the, the composting toilet, from all this stuff that was coming, I've got just boxes in the garage that need to be torn down. And they're, you know, they're not like these lightweight boxes. So, so he'll come have the box cutter, you know, get all those ready and to, so that they can be disposed of. So lots of things. I just count my blessings that he comes out three, four times a year to help me with stuff. So I'm really fortunate with that because I don't have anyone here um, where I live that can help me with things. So, you know, such a blessing that he does that. He comes out here and helps me um, get things together, or replace lights. I have another light in the kitchen that's, you know, going like disco like flashing that needs to be changed so he'll do that he'll change that light for me um, you know that's one thing I, I my my house is quite nice but and it's got those really high ceilings which
which I like the high ceilings, but if you have to change a light or something, <laughs> it's kind of a pain, you know? So, um, I'm happy that he's coming out and he'll help with that as well. So we'll see. Oh my goodness. Well, it looks like we've got nice blue skies out here. Uh, it's definitely lighter out here than it is where I live. Back where I live, the clouds are very gray. And so they may get some snow, I think, up in the upper elevations. Well, we'll see. But, uh, yeah. And then pretty soon down here, I go over the mountain. Go over the hill, over the mountain. To go to the VA. I'm glad I don't have to go all the way out to the hospital because that's way far out there. So we'll see. It's going to be interesting to see how well I do with gas mileage with this other tires on, how they're going to work. But so far, it looks to be um, about the same as the other ones. Right now, I'm getting 43.4. Uh, which is okay, but I'm waiting to see if it increases because I just had the hybrid fan cleaned as well. And sometimes that can cause your mileage to go down, but uh, I had them also check my 12 volt battery in the back, and I did not know this, but the only battery you can use is a Toyota battery, okay, and that's a, the starter battery and things, it's, it's a little different I guess with Toyota cars, but you cannot replace it with any other kind of battery. So I had them check that, and that was all well and good and, and quite fine, so I don't need to change that. But since this is a new car for me, um, and for a Toyota, it's got low miles. This is a 2012, and it's got uh, 60,000 miles on it, so that's really low for a Toyota. My other Toyota is a 2012, and I think I've got like 170-something thousand miles on it. So, <laughs> and it runs like a champ. I've never, ever had a problem with it yet. Now, when I get back from my uh, tooling around what I'm doing, I need to take that one in and also have that uh, fan, the hybrid fan, cleaned. Um, because that was not something I ever knew that you had to do. And mine's got a lot of miles on it. Although where I lived before in Florida, you don't have as much of um, the dirt and the things as you would have in some other places. So I may be okay, you know, with uh, it not being really clogged. But that's something that will kill your big hybrid battery is if that gets clogged and your hybrid battery overheats and it goes out. And then that's your big expense with these cars. Now this car, if I had to replace the hybrid battery, it's like half the price of what it will cost me to replace my Camry battery. So, um, so that was good. At least this one, if you replace it, get a rebuilt, it's over a thousand dollars cheaper than my Camry will be. Now, 
I love my Camry. It is so smooth and it is just such a, a wonderful car. Um, you know, I have no complaints about it. But uh, for doing the long distance traveling and things, I think that this is going to be a much better option for me. So, we'll see. We'll see. So on that note, I'm going to leave this here because we got road work up here. i got to kind of really pay attention and uh, I don't know what they're doing. we got all kind of dirt blowing across and stuff. <laughs> so on that note, I'm going to leave that here and we'll 